Folks, I'd like to show you a special type of story stick, a scored story stick. It's one of the most accurate measuring devices you'll ever use, and the only way to get one is to make one. Ow. I'm sure you're all familiar with story sticks. These are rulers that you make yourself when you have to do repetitive measurements, as I've done with this face frame. Actually, I've made over a dozen of these face frames for a set of kitchen cabinets, and some of them have multiple rails that have to be joined to the styles at various heights. In this case, one and a half inches, 11 inches, 19 inches, 24 and a half, and 30 and a half inches, or 38. 279, 483, 622, and 775 millimeters for those of you out there in metric land. Now, I just read all of those measurements off a cheat sheet that I put on the back because my brain can't hold three measurements for more than two seconds and have them fall out in the same order that they went in. For me, a story stick is less of a convenience and more of a necessity if I'm going to make accurate measurements. But there's one more thing that gets in the way of accuracy more than undependable brain cells, and that's a pencil. Pencils mark a line on a wood surface, and that line has a width. Furthermore, the width of the line grows as the pencil becomes dull. Back in the Bronze Age, before draftsmen became an endangered species, they taught us to roll our pencils as we drew lines. This helped keep the points sharp, but it only worked for so long before you actually had to stop and sharpen. The best way to create a precise line on a wood surface is to score it. The standard woodworking wisdom is to use the knife to score across the grain. Then turn it over and use the point to score parallel to the grain. The point is less likely to follow the grain pattern than the knife. However, you can also use a knife parallel to the grain as long as you don't press too hard and keep it firmly against a metal straight edge. Mark the score in several light strokes, not one heavy pass. However you decide to make them, a scored line made with a metal tool is narrower and far more consistent than one made with a pencil. Furthermore, and this is what makes a scored story stick so advantageous, it's far easier to transfer a scored line precisely than it is a marked line. Let me show you what I mean. But first, we have to make a scored story stick. Joint and cut a long, narrow scrap of wood so that it's perfectly straight. Most of us will use a tape measure for this next step. But if you have one, use a rigid metal ruler. Place the ruler on the story stick to be with the lines 90 degrees from the surface. This gets rid of any parallax problems. Now, just a quick review on parallax. If the marks on a ruler are slightly above the wood surface, the marks you make on the wood may be slightly off, depending on the angle from which you view the ruler. That's why I like to stand up a ruler, like this, whenever I need to be dead-on accurate. With the lines actually adjacent to the wood, there's no parallax to worry about. Try not to include the end of the ruler, or your tape measure, in your measurements. It may be damaged or mismarked. Instead, line up one of the first marks on your measuring tool with the end of the stick and measure from there. In my case, I'm lining up the one inch mark. For the measurements I'll need, I just subtract one inch from the measurements on the ruler. Quality measuring tools have inscribed measurement lines, not just marks. The reason for this is the marks are less likely to wear off when they're inscribed, and you can use this to your advantage when you need accuracy. Locate the measurement you want to make, Put the point of your knife in the incised line on the ruler and press down, making a tiny cut on the wood. You're actually feeling the measurement, much easier and more accurate than just eyeballing it. When you've made all these square cuts, you may want to take a pencil and darken them so you can find them again easily. At each mark, insert the point of the knife in the cut, slide the square against the knife, and scribe a line. If the line is hard to see, darken it with a pencil then lightly sand the wood. The scribed line will stand out. Let's transfer the measurements on our story stick to an actual face frame style. And once again, we're going to use the point of the knife to actually feel each measurement. Clamp the story stick to the style. 
Put the point of the knife in the scribed line on the story stick, slide the square up against it, and using the square to guide the knife, scribe a line on the style. Do the same for each of your measurements. Now here are two styles that I did one after the other. I've darkened the lines with a pencil, as I did before, so that you can see that all of these marks line up perfectly. Normally, I scribe all my styles all at once, but I did these separately so that you can see that this method is both accurate and repeatable. Furthermore, it sidesteps our faulty memories. I couldn't tell you a single measurement that I mentioned not moments ago, and yet I don't feel a bit guilty about it. That's because I can take my story stick and see that everything lines up. And that tells me, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that this is good enough for government work. I'd bet my hammer on it.